We love St. Louis, we love our community, and it's a way to give back. This happens to be a, a trade that we belong to, which we're fairly good at, and we might as well donate our, our time to help somebody out. I think Heat's On, once you've done it, it's something you want to come back and do again. We are the community, so why should we not be proud to go out, do the things we're good at, and show these people that, hey, we're not just here trying to make money, we're here to make the community better. And the only way to make it better is to help those that are less fortunate. Helping those less fortunate. That's what members of Local 562 have been doing for the past 30 years, thanks to a program called Heat's On. What we're going to do is we're going to check your flu, we're going to check your burner, we'll look at your overall operation of your furnace and make sure everything's operating properly. Each year, hundreds of volunteers fan out, inspecting smoke alarms, plumbing, and of course, furnaces free of charge. Recipients include those less fortunate, the elderly, and local 562 retirees. A lot of people can't afford this service, so that's why they opt not to do it. So by us giving it free, it's just that more compelling to me and it's just peace of mind that I'm actually doing something for my community. We get involvement from supply houses, from bankers, from businesses, everybody wanting to pitch in and help. And I think that's what makes it so successful, everybody working together. Heat's On was spearheaded by Jim O'Mara and local 562 officials back in the 1980s. Over the past three decades, it's touched countless lives. When you meet an old widow or a handicapped person who really doesn't get around, who has nobody to talk to, and you go into their home, they're almost in tears that you're there helping them. Heat's On has always been this one program that uh, we can get politicians, we can get mayors, we can get county executives, we could get buy-in from them to know that, hey, we are in this community, this is what we do, and we're here to stay. While the program has generated much acclaim, it's also created a lasting legacy for families like the McDonough's, three generations of Heats On volunteers. We've seen some furnaces that should not have been on and were very dangerous and uh, that you just don't want to see that. Every time you hear unions are bad, unions are this, unions are that, well, here's a prime example of something they do. A trained person that knows what to do, can do it, and they come out and help the community. It's great. I think it's fabulous. You don't have that extra money, so you try to do things on your own sometimes and it just doesn't work. But these guys come out, they make you feel good, they come in, you can trust them because you know that they are from the local 562. I always had comfort and peace of mind all through my married years to Joe because of him and being a pipe fitter. And now that we're in our golden years, it is so tremendous to have this program for us. Some 11,000 homes serviced, 7,500 volunteers, and more than $6 million in donated labor and material. No doubt, Heat's On encompasses 30 years of proud, rewarding experiences for members of Local 562 and the Mechanical Contractors Association. This is something that has been part of our organization for 30 plus years. Our guys are enthusiastic about it and they're all willing to give their time and as long as you have that attitude I don't see it going anywhere. <laughs>